Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love cemeteries and haunted histories as much as I do, please subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be taking you somewhere new every week. Today we're headed to Cincinnati. We're going to visit the Walnut Hill German Cemetery and the Walnut Hill Jewish Cemetery in Cincinnati, Ohio, established in the 1800s. Enjoy! We're here at the Walnut Hills Cemetery, incorporated in 1844. Let's go in and see what we can see. This is a beautiful cemetery in the Cincinnati Hills. The grass is just so lush and green here. It just looks beautiful. So many monuments. And all the cemeteries here are very well kept and have so many beautiful trees and plants and all of that so if you love cemeteries Cincinnati is a great place to visit for that just look at the rolling hills and the headstones cemetery just looks so cool when it's hilly like this it just looks gorgeous here's another one of those headstones that have this beautiful flower like a 3D flower. I just think that looks so cool. And I'm going uphill here. This is gorgeous. Another thing I noticed about the headstones here, <clears throat> the way the concrete has weathered and turned darker in some areas, it just looks so cool. You can like actually ski down this mountain. It is, it's like a mountain. It's really steep. Isn't that just beautiful though? These trees are dropping, you know, leaves and flowers down and it's just raining. <laughs> like beautiful flowers and leaves in the cemetery. It's gorgeous. We really lucked out with the weather too. Because when we were trying to figure out what the weather was going to be like online, it was saying that it was going to rain the whole time. Basically, it was going to be cold, and it's just been really nice. It's crisp, there's a chill in the wind, but it's not freezing. We have a beautiful headstone. I love how they have the book up at the top. It says, Asleep in Jesus. Renkert, founder of, says, Jen, CEO, Washington Garrison, post number one, Army and Navy Union. USA. It looks like it's easier to read in the video than it is to actually be standing here and trying to read it. There's some really old headstones over here. You can barely read and look at the look at how thin they are. And they're kind of tipped a little bit, tilted over. Wow, you just can't read it. The, the script on the on the back side here is all it's been weathered. I'm trying to Get the dates on here and I can't even hardly do that. Looks like the death date on this one is 1909. But these are definitely <laughs> definitely old headstones here. 
there's some kind of chapel up uphill here. way of the wind so you can hear me this is a beautiful headstone here and this was actually a reverend so I'm seeing reverends pastors I think for the most part it's a it's a place of rest for all spiritual leaders in Cincinnati is what it looks like because there's there are some from every denomination so that's kind of interesting and you see a lot of the names on the headstones are German or like a Jewish name. We've seen a lot of those. This one is, and it's an old cemetery, Walnut Hill.
chapel on top of the hill here. Just gorgeous. We weren't sure coming up if it was a mausoleum or an office. I said it's probably a chapel. It does look, has the stained glass windows. Oh, it's just beautiful. I would live here. <laughs> Everything in Cincinnati seems to be very ornate in design. The architecture of the houses, the buildings downtown. Yeah, it's not open. I just wanted to see, babe. It is Sunday. If any day, <laughs> if there were any day that it would be open, it should be today. <laughs> There's so many trees. So as you're walking through this beautiful scenic cemetery with all these hills, you're hearing the birds just singing. It's just so pretty. I mean, just like the Spring Grove Cemetery, if this was close to my house, I'd be there every single day. <laughs> as long as it, you know, wasn't raining or nasty weather. And we have beautiful weather here right now. We really lucked out. Honestly, if I wanted to take a picture of every beautiful headstone, it would literally be every headstone in this whole cemetery and the Spring Grove Cemetery. It would take me two weeks for this video <laughs> because to go through all of those pictures and beautiful headstones and mausoleums. And I don't see any mausoleums here. These are mostly headstones, but they're just all, every single one of them is beautiful. A lot of the memorials are so old that all the script is worn off and you can't even see them, uh, what's written on them anymore. It doesn't take away from the beauty. They are just still ornate and still beautiful, even though you can't really read the script anymore. It's just from the weather, 100 years old, probably almost a lot of these almost 200 years old by now, and uh, just happens over time. There's almost nowhere in the city that doesn't have a beautiful view. You're always up on a hill <laughs> and the trees and the plants and the flowers, they're just beautiful. It's been a very scenic trip for us. Highly recommend Cincinnati, Ohio. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful stroll through Walnut Hills Cemetery. My chariot awaits. See you soon. Just not far down the street here at Walnut Hills Jewish Cemetery. Evidently there is a German segment, which is where we were before. And this is actually the Jewish, dedicated to Jewish Cemetery. Founded in 1850. Let's go in and see what we can see. Just walking through here is, again, really scenic, beautiful. The grass is so green and lush. Little purple wildflowers everywhere as you walk through on the ground. It just is <laughs> perfect. <laughs>
the German part of the cemetery. Of course, somebody's over here doing ground maintenance right now. But the German part of the cemetery is a lot bigger. This one's smaller. But some really, really beautiful monuments to see here. Like I was saying, in the Jewish cemetery, or in the German cemetery, there were a lot of Jewish names and German names, and I was just really confused. I didn't realize that there were two Walnut Hills cemeteries. So, isn't this beautiful? A memorial bench shaded by this beautiful tree here. Monuments here are, are huge. They're <laughs> very, very tall. I wonder if this is actually, if this is Hebrew or German. There's some Hebrew there. I think the script at the bottom is Hebrew. Jacob Netter, born August 16, 1813, at Inkwiller, France. Died February 14, 1875. Amelie Netter, born April 10, 1823, at Herxheim, Rhenish, Bavaria. Died June 9, 1872. Her remains were entered at Wachenheim, June 11th, 1872, and then there's a different language here, which may be German, and then a Hebrew script down there and up top as well. Net, that's the Netter plot. This here is one of my new, new favorite things. It just looks so amazing on a headstone. These 3D sort of wreaths and palms and it's part of the headstone but if you're looking at it from a distance it kind of looks real it's just beautiful so peaceful here they have some mausoleums over there on the other side you can see there's another one over here has the same thing it's just the palm laying on top of the headstone but it just looks so cool Just a neat little detail and I've been seeing it more lately you can see it's very hilly here as well hence Walnut Hills <laughs> you're probably gonna want to make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes when you come to visit the cemeteries here in Cincinnati because you're gonna be doing a lot of climbing these hills are no joke, and if you want to get up and see some of the most beautiful monuments, they are up on top of these hills. Make sure you are prepared for that. Probably bring some water with you. I have some in the car, so.
to make my way up to some of these mausoleums here so we can take a peek at the inside. Aren't they beautiful? Just little houses. This is a big cemetery too. <laughs> My friend said, this one's not that big. It's big, <laughs> believe me. Here's one that we can probably see in. Gosh, it's big. The work that goes into some of these mausoleums. It's like a little house, you know? Look. Even a tile floor that's perfectly detailed. Can you see there on the back where they've left stones for their loved ones? Just to signify that they were here to visit. You can see through the, the back window there. Beautiful view and even more of the cemetery. Just look at this view. another one up here these are all lined up sort of in the back of the cemetery and then there's even more on the other side <laughs> it's just beautiful look at the old English script on this David May, December 20th, 1857 through March 26, 1932. And Mary May, November 25th, 1881 to June 5th, 1946. Beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. I've had many people tell me that in order to see beautiful cemeteries that you had to leave the United States. What do you call this? You know, it's gorgeous. You don't have to leave the United States. Buy a plane ticket, come over to Cincinnati, Ohio and see some of the most beautiful cemeteries you've probably ever seen in your life. And this isn't even scratching the surface. There's beautiful cemeteries all over the United States. These are just a couple of them. Being from Florida, I at one point thought that myself, that in order to see a beautiful cemetery that I would have to go abroad. That's not true. <laughs> in fact, that couldn't be further from the truth. Go over here where the, where the headstones are just so concentrated. It just looks cool. <laughs> and going up that little hill. Just looks so picturesque. If you were a painter even, this would be a great place to come and do still life paintings of the cemetery because there are so many different colors with the trees and the headstones are all oxidizing and you know turning different colors and it just looks amazing. Once again, my chariot has arrived guess it's time to go now. I hope you enjoyed both cemeteries today. Let's go get a bite to eat. We loved our Hofbra House downtown St. Pete and it actually closed up during COVID. So to be able to come to another Hofbra House is pretty exciting especially in another city. It's always nice to see, but I do believe this is a chain. There's several locations. It's just that we don't have one anymore. So that kind of sucks. Look at the little tiny mug, little tiny beer stein. That's hilarious. That's so cute. I love it.
doesn't say how much it is. I guess that means it's free. These are cute. Might have to leave with one of those. And look, candles. Beer candles. I love this too. Wow, that's cool. Oh, they smell amazing. I might have to have one of these. Mmm. Smells like cinnamon. Mm. Cinnamon spice or something. It smells amazing. I think I might have to leave here with one of those. And of course they have your traditional regular sized beer steins as well. T-shirts. Magnets. We love magnets. Cool. Coasters. Little music boxes. Oh, I love these. Oh, that's not working. Oh, the little samples aren't. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I want to apologize for maybe saying beautiful and awesome and gorgeous too much, but there were really no better words to describe these cemeteries. I just couldn't believe my eyes. They're just so beautiful. And right here in the United States, I just couldn't believe it. So really it took my breath away. We were so blessed to have our friends Mo and Pat to show us around the city. They were great hosts. Um, they let us stay in their beautiful 18th century Airbnb, which had an overlook of the city from their rooftop. The whole trip was just amazing. I highly recommend Cincinnati. The food was great. We had great company. And like I was saying, there really isn't a place in the city that you can stand that doesn't have a great view. It's just everything I love. Architecture, history, cemeteries, and they've preserved it well there in the city of Cincinnati. If you loved this video, there's going to be one every Sunday. I'm going to be going somewhere different. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video, and I'll see you next time.